Okay, let's open this up. We're simply gonna press this button. It's got a trap door. Oh, wow. That is incredible. It even filled up the little tube right here. Wow. Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do an updated review on the Dyson 360 Robot Vacuum Cleaner. So we've had this upstairs in our house for one day. It's been in the basement for a, um, a couple months. It's had a couple updates and the Eufy X10 Pro Omni has been upstairs for two months. So if you've seen that video, it's been cleaning my, the Eufy X10 Pro Omni has been cleaning my house for two months. I'm absolutely blown away by what I'm gonna show you with the Dyson 360 cleaning my house one time. Okay, so we got a notification saying the airway was blocked. It's been vacuuming my house and it is absolutely completely filled up. It can't hold anymore. This thing is really doing a great job. Again, it's had two updates since the last, since my last video. And I was, I was extremely hard on this, but it, these updates, I think, have um, improved the navigation and not getting stuck and mapping. But I cannot get over how full, full this is. We actually vacuum our house once in a while, but the Eufy X10 Pro Omni has been cleaning our house, and it is absolutely crazy. I got a notification saying the airway was blocked. I'm like, oh, is it trapped? It didn't get stuck anywhere. It just couldn't vacuum anymore. I am thinking this is going to be a game changer. They had some issues early on, but they're updating. You know, what always amazes me is that it doesn't look dirty. Like it's, it's just doing a great job. All right, let's see what we can find. Press this button. It's got some hair wrap on it. Okay, let's pull it up. Oh yeah, that's right, you gotta pull it up at an angle. Kinda of forgot about it. So there's that airway, yeah. It is completely jammed pack. Now, it does have some pretty tight hairs on there, nothing too terribly bad. I could cut those off. Yeah, let's just, it's, it looks like it's gonna be easy to clean out, just get a tool, oh wow, yeah. Easy to clean out, looks like. Yeah, there's that airway that was blocked because it just couldn't hold anymore. Okay, let's open this up. We're simply gonna press this button. It's got a trap door. Oh, wow. That is incredible. It even filled up the little tube right here. Would you look at that? That is incredible. Look at all the fine dust and all of the hair. Here's what the dust bin looks like. I'm gonna blow this out really quick, but I am just amazed that the HEPA filter shows hardly any signs at all. I mean, it does a really good job. There it all is. One day of cleaning my house. The Dyson Robot Vacuum Cleaner. Okay, here's a close up of, it's got really fine dirt, lots and lots of hair. I'm absolutely amazed. The updates have changed this so dramatically. Okay, let's take a look at the app. Now, the app is getting better and the mapping's getting better. There's where it finally ran into a problem. The pipe was clogged. And there was a really heavy dirt area. But I'm getting excellent coverage in my house now. Now I know these areas down here was kind of struggling because there is a lot of stuff on the floor, but places where it's nice and open, it's getting excellent coverage. And it wasn't even this, it didn't even do this room. Oh my goodness. That was absolutely amazing how well it cleaned. And you can see, it took about three hours, two and a half hours, 
it was just kind of going, you know, it was just doing its thing. I was downstairs. Absolutely amazing. Okay, I put it back on the dock. It's all cleaned up. I just kind of want to show you how well it's been cleaning. All right, it's going to undock itself. Okay, it's traveling to this room that it has not cleaned yet. It seems like it knows what it's doing more now. Like it seems like it has better navigation. And I didn't even put any no-go zones upstairs. I wanted to see how where it was going to get stuck and then I would put the no-go zones. So, and it did not get stuck on anything. So it seems to go to the middle of the room and it's kind of working its way out. Now I've got it in auto mode. Huh, that's interesting. Again, I've had this robot for a couple months now and it's done a couple, it's, it's done at least three updates because I'll just go buy it and then all of a sudden it says on the screen, update complete because I've got it set to auto update. It seems much more organized with its direction and movement. and its coverage. I'm gonna have it do this room. Again, the Eufy X10 Pro Omni has been doing this room for two months. And we've vacuumed it, I think, with a shark rotator, with a corded vacuum a couple times, like when company comes over or something. I was extremely hard on them when this robot first came out. It, it seemed to have a lot of problems, but I think they've ironed them out. Now that's my carpet making it do that. I've got some lumps in my carpet. When I saw that dustbin, I knew something had changed. And you are able to tab, have multiple maps. So I've got a downstairs, an upstairs. And it'll start to put like circles around the areas where it thinks when it's like, oh, I picked up a bunch of dirt in this room. You may want to clean that room a little bit more. So it's, it's, it will learn as it cleans your house. So after about a, a week or so, you're going to start to see different circles around different rooms. And that's going to mean things. And that's going to help you understand where the dirt is and everything. And again, the latest update I see is May 17th, and today's the 22nd. So, again, I was just walking by the robot. It's downstairs, and I saw the screen say, update completes. I'm like, okay, let's, maybe they've changed some stuff. Let's give it a try. So I brought the Q-Revo Max V, or no, this is the S8 Max V, Roborock. I brought it upstairs. This is the latest and greatest. This is $1,700. Um, I, I bought it with my own money again the 12 I got the $1,200 Dyson it's cleaning my rooms but uh, I bought this up mainly for mopping these floors we're going to see how it does upstairs and when they come upstairs they go on a routine the Dyson's going to go on and every it's going to go four days a week vacuuming the, the entire house I'm going to put the Roborock probably on three or four times a week of mopping this room and vacuuming and we're just really going to put it through the test and that way I can see exactly how it's going to do over a long term and typically we do not get a vacuum, I mean, if there's guests or something coming over, we'll get a vacuum cleaner out, but we, we typically do not get a vacuum cleaner out like a corded one and vacuum the house. We do rely on these robots, but this is changing my mind, seeing how much that Dyson picked up. I, um, again, the Ufi X10 Pro Omni was in that spot for two months and I thought it was doing a good job and the dust bag was full, but I'm absolutely, I think maybe the Dyson might be able to get into some tighter spots. It kind of tries a little harder and it's a little bit lower. Hmm. Now again, the Dyson is $1,200. I'll put links to it in the show description notes. That is still a lot of money, but I'm starting to, to lean towards, is it worth it? And you know, if it cleans my house like that, it is worth it. I mean, and I think it's going to do a good job. I gotta give it, I gotta give it a couple weeks and see exactly how it does. But you know, if they had an auto empty system with this, oh boy, wow. But um, I don't, you know, it's very easy to empty out that dustbin. And it does hold a lot, as you saw. And then finally it will just stop working when the, it gets completely full. 
Yeah, here's the Eufy X10 Pro, Om Pro Omni. I just brought it downstairs for some comparison. So it's in a, it's having a vacation right now. It's down here with the Q-Revo Max V, uh, X30, the Dream X30, the Dream X40. And I did a video that showed uh, the Eufy, this is its, its bag. I used it for one month, I changed it out. You know, it did, a, I mean, this, okay, there is quite a bit more, but this is a month's worth. And the, yeah, there is. There actually is quite a bit more. So the Eufy is doing a good job, but I really, you know, I did expect this to do, uh, I, I don't yeah, I'm just, I, I can't wait. I don't know what, I'm kind of speechless. I don't know what to do. What I'm trying to say is I did not expect the Dyson to find that much, considering the eufy has been cleaning my house for a month. But I'm, you know, I, I, I've got, I, I, I'm just speechless. I, I, I review vacuum, I review robot vacuum cleaners and I don't, I mean, the Dyson's doing an excellent job. And I want to, you know, I do love the, the Eufy, and I thought it's doing a really good job, but, you know, it, I would have hoped that it wouldn't have find that much extra stuff. Okay, so it's done cleaning that one room. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh, it's got a lot of stuff in there. It kind of puts it to one side, doesn't it? It forms, that's pretty neat how it does it. So all the dirt comes in here and it forces it around and that's how it stacks up. Huh. Wow. Pretty incredible. It wipes that metal off. There's everything it picked up in that room. Incredible. Okay, so here's the actual room. Again, it seems more organized when it cleans. It's like it's doing a better job. I can tell where it's getting up closer to the furniture. It went around the computer stuff here. Now here's the app. I had it do this room. I put I didn't put any no-go zones or nothing. It did not get back behind that. That chair was kind of blocking that area. But it is much more organized how it goes around. This is pretty nice now. Now it did... I had I brought it upstairs yeah, I think yesterday or today and then it mapped my house. It didn't go down the hallway. And so I had to delete that map and had to it had to remap my house again and then finally it went down the hallway and got the bedrooms and stuff. So as of right now, I'm giving this a thumbs up. I know I hopefully it's gonna go on sale soon. It's doing I'm just really excited. I'm gonna give you an update after a couple of weeks of cleaning the house. So this is just a really quick update. It seems to be doing better. It's had a bunch of updates. I'll put a link to it in the show description notes. Again, I really do appreciate everybody's support. If you could, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.